All right, so that's the song we're going to learn by AJR. We're going to learn the uh, simple version of the beat first. Um, to give you a preview, this is what it might sound like. So that's what we're going to learn today. Step one, let's get our left hand on the hi-hat. And we're going to play eighth notes, nice, and we're going to keep it low, because hi-hats cut through the mix, we don't need to mash the potatoes, okay? One, and two, and three, and four. Make sure you keep it closed, heel up, and three, and four, and count out loud, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, stop! Okay, then we're going to add the backbeat to count two, two, and four on Mr. Snare Drum. One and two and three and four and 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 okay good. So we're gonna go back to just hi hat. Ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Keep it low and good. We're, this time, we're going to add the bass drum to counts one and three. That's called the front beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now, it's important, when we're playing the bass drum, make sure we have a nice posture. We're balanced. We're sitting up straight. We need to keep pressure on the left foot. Make sure this heel stays up. And we're lightly adding some pressure, keeping the hi-hat closed. So when we're playing the bass drum, the hi-hat doesn't open up. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And now. What I also want to do is add a bass drum note to the end of count four. It's kind of like a pickup note leading into the next measure. So right before um, we repeat it, we have to play the bass drum on the end of four. So let's start from count one. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four and one. Now, on this part, hold up a second. We want to really make sure we don't speed up our hi hat when we're playing the extra note on the bass drum. This is the part that's really going to make the, the, the beat kind of flow and groove. It's adding like the next layer. So we want to make sure the timing is accurate. It doesn't rush, it doesn't speed up. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four 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 and one. All right, so what we're going to do now is add the snare drum to the back to the backbeat. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four. 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 Alright, stop. That's pretty much the basic beat. Now let's just get the cuts, right? The bang, bang, bang part. So, when we're playing that, we're going to stop on count one. So if we play the beat, one and two and three and four and one, then after that, we're going to crash with the bass drum on counts two and three, two and three. 
Make sure we're getting a nice, full, clean cymbal hit. You want to kind of strike the cymbal without mashing the cymbal. So you want to kind of snap it, pop it off. Two and three. And just for fun, we can click our six on count four. So it's one, two, and three, four. Back to the beat. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three. And here we go. Four and stop. Two and three, four again. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three. And four, and one, and two, and here we go, stop, and one, two, and three, four, a little faster, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and stop right here, two, and three, and four, and Here we go, and stop, and four, and stop. All right, there it is, basic beep, AJR, bang!